Manchester City fans used to sing Wembley songs in vague hope rather than expectations. And that maybe explains why, even with a 9-0 lead from the first leg, there were some older Blues who refused to get involved in booking London hotels for the end of February. Just in case. No temptation for fate here. But the Blues, a mishmash of recovering injured, fringe stars and youngsters, including debutante and Carlo Pavita, duly booked their 12th trip to the Arch in nine seasons. Sergio Aguero scored the goal that ensured City would win over two legs, and the traveling fans had a rum day out in a town famous for its breweries, a raucous trip back in time to the days when this might have been a second division relegation decider. For Pep Guardiola and his team, it was just another job to get done without fuss and, given the plummeting temperatures on a pitch with no undersoil heating, without mishap. They broke their own record aggregate scoreline for a cup semi-final, beating the 9-0 Manuel Pellegrini's team piled up against West Ham five years ago. Second legs rarely follow the same pattern as one-sided first legs, and this was never going to be another massacre. From the moment the ground staff removed the covers to reveal suspiciously frosty patches of pitch, the Brewers already had one leveler in the bag. Pep Guardiola may have regretted picking Kevin De Bruyne and Sergio Aguero once he saw the treacherous conditions. Burton were clearly determined not to suffer the same kind of embarrassment dished out at the Etihad a fortnight ago, hustling and bustling, and making use of the fact City's slick football would suffer from the conditions underfoot. On a tight little ground, City handed a debut to Ian Carlo Pavita, as well as pairing youngsters Felipe Sandler and Eric Garcia at centre back. Burton Albion v Man City, pictures from the Carabao Cup semi final second leg view gallery with all those factors considered, it was never going to be a slick, fully functioning City machine, but rather a trial run for some new parts. Burton nearly took the lead when Liam Boyce tried a cheeky backheel, but Aero Murek belied his 6 feet 7 in frame to drop and hold. And while the Blues were stuttering and disjointed, they always looked the more likely to open up the opposition. So they did on 26 minutes, when De Bruyne picked out Riyad Mahrez with a gloriously casual ball and the Algerian weighed up the options before finding Aguero for a trademark side foot finish. Today's top Man City stories 